Today's recipe calls for eggs. We're making Christmas cookies, so let's get started. So let's get started. First, we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients together in one bowl. You're gonna need a spoon to grab your flour to put in your measuring cup. You don't ever wanna pack your flour because then your entire recipe will be off. Then we'll use this knife to level it off. One cup of flour. And our second cup of all-purpose flour. Same thing. Two cups. Next, we're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of salt and then one half teaspoon of baking powder. So you wanna do the same thing with that little lip and just level it off and throw it in your bowl. Then we're gonna use a whisk and mix it all together. So we'll set that aside for now. Now after we got all of our dry ingredients, we're gonna do our wet ingredients. So in a stand mixer or a hand mixer, whatever you have, you're gonna use 12 tablespoons of room temp butter. Throw it in there, put this down, and we'll get this kind of softened up or mixed around before we add our sugar. So now we're gonna add 3 fourths cup of sugar to our butter. We're just gonna cream the butter and sugar together till we get a light brown, gritty paste. Then we'll go ahead and add our one egg. Make sure to crack it in a separate bowl because if you crack it and you accidentally get a shell in there, nobody wants a shell in their cookie. We'll throw that in there. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There's our vanilla. And I'll turn our mixer back on. And we have it on low speed now. And we're going to slowly add our flour in to start making our cookie dough. You want to do it in small batches because if you put it all in at once, it's going to be this huge flour explosion. Just keep going until you have everything added in. We'll turn it up. And this is what your dough should look like. Get it out, all out of the bowl and get it set on our work surface. We'll move on to the next step. And that's what our dough looks like. Go ahead and work it a little bit. So we're going to divide this into threes. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. So we'll set one aside for now. And we'll put one back in the bowl so we can add our food coloring. Since it's Christmas themed, we're gonna go with green first. Turn it back on. Now that all of our dough is one color, we're gonna grab a piece of saran wrap and throw our dough in there for now. Make 
make it into a little square. Like so. Then we'll put this in the fridge to let it rest and firm up, and then we'll move on to the red one. It's the same process. First, you're going to want to clean your bowl, get all the green stuff out. Now that we have a clean bowl, we'll do our red dye next. So throw our bowl on, throw our dough in, add our hook. So this is what our red looks like. The recipe calls for half a tablespoon, but I wanted to vibrant, vibrant colors, so I just added till it looked good. So same thing as the green one, we'll take it out of our bowl, wrap it in saran wrap, make it into a square. And after you get your two color dyes, you want to do the same thing with your dough that we didn't add any food coloring to. So make it into a square. And wrap it just like the other two. So you have three squares, sort of squares for the green one. Then we'll put these in the fridge and let them rest for about an hour. While our dough is firming, we can start cleaning up, but who wants to do that anyways? We can procrastinate and you can like this video, subscribe, comment below, and find me on Instagram at taylormakes92, and we'll see you back here in a few. Now our dough is firmed up, so we're going to roll each piece of dough out into a rectangle. So let's get started. You want to roll it out to about a quarter inch thick thick for each piece. Now that we have all of our dough rolled out, we're going to put our cookie log together. Since it's Christmas themed, we're going to keep the red and green next to each other, like so. Throw that out. And then throw our last dough on top. Oops. Do your best to get it lined up. And now we're going to roll it into a log. That's why we left the saran wrap, the saran wrap on to help roll the log. Now we have one giant cookie log. Go ahead and rewrap it and let it rest in the fridge for another 20 minutes. We got our cookie log made, and in the meantime, while it's firming up, we can get our oven preheated to 350 and our sheet pans ready to go. So let's go. When setting up your cookie pan, you want to make sure to use parchment paper or wax paper. Luckily for me, I have this non-stick sheet tray, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Now that our cookie dough is firmed up, if you want a longer log, you can just work it. Now, pull it out a little bit, something like that, and we'll unwrap it. We'll start cutting. So we're going to cut the end off with a sharp knife. Then we're gonna cut about a quarter inch thick cookies. Take this aside for now. And let's get our sheep tray lined. About three per row. So 
a couple more. There we are. Now we'll throw them in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes or until cookies are set. Our cookies are finally done. They smell so good. I can't wait to try them. But first, we're gonna let them cool on this sheet tray for about five minutes until we move them over to a cooling rack to completely cool down and then we can try them. So our cookies are finally done, so let's give them a try. The swirl on them came out pretty good. The outside is kind of crunchy, but the center is still soft. Let's give it a shot. These cookies are good. I really like them. This is a pretty easy recipe, don't you think? I think so. All you need is a little bit of patience and some time is all. This is a fun recipe to do with the kids to make cookies for Santa or just to eat for yourself. Either or, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below. You can also find me on Instagram at TaylorMakes92, and I'll catch you on the next one.